Perugia has been placed under interdict. Yeah, fuck Perugia. Whatever that is. How old is the Emperor, by the way? Uh, he's 46, so he might stick around for a while. Hopefully he'll stick around for a long while, but can't guarantee that, of course. What is this war with Brunswick, by the way? Uh, just some local conflict. Let them have their fun, I guess. Are you being pious or secular? Uh, that depends entirely on a bunch of factors that I have not decided on yet. For example, I've not decided if I'm going to stay Catholic or if I'm going to go Protestant. And... Well, I guess I would need piety either way. But piety is not some permanent thing in this. You can... P piety... Uh, you can change piety pretty easily. Based on a bunch of different crap. Church influence, on the other hand, that takes a lot longer to change. That's a much more gradual process. But piety, you can sort of jump back and forth depending on what you want. Go reformed. Isn't Protestantism objectively better, though? I would prefer to be some, like, absolutely stupid religion, like... Dualists. That sounds fun, but, no. I don't think we can get away with that in the Empire. Do you want the Holy CB? You get Holy War CB from being pious? Once again, I don't know. I'm not gonna make my. I'm. I'm. I haven't. I'm not set in my plans. It depends on. It's gonna depend on just a bunch of crap. I haven't. Yeah, I just haven't decided. Feel free to advise me when the time comes. Hey, we're about to get our second idea group. That's something I could do with some advice on. What should my second idea group be? You need high influence too. Hmm. I don't want high church influence though, because that yeets your taxes. Uh, my first was administrative. The game picks a an idea group for you in this. But I tolerate the administrative, so I, you know, it's a, it's a fine enough idea, I guess. But yeah, I guess our next idea would have to be either Diplo or Military. It seems super risky, though, to do a military idea, because... I mean, there's culture ideas. Bureaucratic or diplomatic? Yeah, I guess bureaucratic is pretty good. Yeah, bureaucratic is actually really good. But once again, I didn't... Well, once again, I started with a lot of progress in the ID group. Um... You start with like half of the ideas finished, so you have to pay a lot, if you will, to cancel it and then take another one in the beginning. You have the setting where it limits the idea groups. It's not a setting, it's just a mob. Or what do you mean? Oh shit, I've been busted in Brandenburg. Get ourselves a claim before it's too late. Got your report card? What is a report card? Tiro as an ally? Ah, that's a nuisance. Yeah, our next war should probably be against one of these tiny nations. Probably Mercyfield. 
Or metastatic, I mean. The cop isn't coming. Yeah, just nuke him. Should be straightforward, actually. I'm actually tempted to go for that right now. Ah, but it would be... Um, it would not be a war we would actually get too much out of, though. We might actually need another war against Brandenburg, actually. Brandenburg does not seem to have a very impressive army. And he has some internal issues. Verle. Okay, okay, that is... That is not an insignificant ally. Yeah, that would give us an excuse to kill Mansfield, too. Uh, but he has Henneberg as a puppet. Yeah, that's... That's a recipe for another fucking war that would just escalate. You know that, and without any support, it's just not going to be super viable. Oh, okay, right. Oh, that I didn't know. I mean, you would still want to have your idea groups be uh, varied, though, don't you? Because. Um, you know, you still want to spend an even amount of ad or points on stuff. Ah, uh, but does anything truly beat culture ideas? Serfdom is pretty good, though. Then again, the improved relations plus 20 from Diplo, that is also really good. Culture ideas are shit there. I always take them. of annexation costs we might actually be able to annex Thuringia now so I'll take only five years let's get it going well what would you recommend then we're not making any good money off trade are we nah well not relatively anyways Could also take a military idea. Yeah, I, I'm actually starting to think maybe diplomatic wouldn't be the... Uh, I still think culture ideas are really good, though. I'm there for better wars. Then either eminence or trade. Is eminence a thing you unlock from diplomatic? Leadership ideas are still really good, right? Or, or is offensive still? Wait, that, no, there is no offensive in this. Never mind. Oh, well, I'm not good enough at the game to get to the point where you uh, reach that cap.
Well, so if, if you were me then, if you were me right now, would you take uh, diplomatic or uh, leadership or some other military idea that you would think better? What your what would what would your assessment be? Ship isn't a bad idea since you're pretty weak at the moment. Well, I'm confident that I can win them, but it's going to be a time consuming thing. I think I might have to wait until Austria wants to join. That's going to take a very long time, though. It might not be super viable. Yeah, that's going to be. It's going to be 10 years until we can. Uh, until we can fight them. I mean, if that is the entire Brandenburger army, then maybe we could just go into a death spiral again. Yeah, that is uh, that it. That literally is his entire army. He hasn't exactly been doing too hot lately. Thing is, I need more coin myself first. But I really don't like sitting at zero uh, aggressive expansion. But I assume that's not going to be a problem for long, so I guess getting the Diplo Improved Relations bonus would be very good in the long term. Let's do Diplo then. If you plan on doing... Nah, I don't plan on doing that. I don't even know how the mechanics work. I just watched the video once that told me that it wasn't worth it and I've never touched it since. So I think we just stay at peace unless that we see an, a very good opportunity. Oh shit, he's all Bohemia? No, that's Ben Time. Okay, that's different. Yeah, we would need to go into some serious debt right now if we wanted another war. Ah, then again, the estates actually still kind of like me, so. Could murk up a bit. And then try and. I mean, 7,000 plus maybe 2,000 for our vassal. Uh, we wouldn't have any reasons to drag it on uh, with anyone except Brandenburg. Ah, shit, no, we do need to drag it on with Mansfeld. Which would complicate things. I feel like we might actually want to take on some debt right now and do the invasion simply because uh, our vassal is going to be annexed soon and that's going to weaken us quite a lot in terms of, you know. Oh, yeah. I, once again, I, I don't... I never looked into how it even works, so... The whole mechanic is fundamentally foreign to me.
Uh, does anyone in chat want to be a general? I know Petrol Bomb isn't a huge fan of that, so... I won't be forcing him, but I do need an... <coughs> Sorry, I do need a general. Isn't there anyone to bully? What do you mean? No, there's no one to bully. There is only Honest Krieg. So we're going to go a bit into debt, because I just despise sitting at zero uh, aggressive expansion. We'll have ourselves a fair war. Led by none other than the good Misha. Misha von Begelstadt. Yeah, he's got shock and a pip in siege. That is the most important, after all. The fucking province borders are so weird. I'm trying to like think like where should I position my army to border uh, Mans Man Mansfeld? It's all just scuffed. Fuck, was it one of these fuckers who had a vassal? Yeah, this guy's Henneberg has a vassal. Urgh. That's bad. Yeah, this is gonna turn into a nasty war. I can feel it already. So the Brandenburg would not actually join sort of thing. Fuck it. Technically won the last one, so who knew who, 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 you know. Surely this can be nothing but a glorious success. Ah, there we go. We can actually get we can get two units out of the guy. Shit, they got away. That's bad. Uh, he's not locked there. That would be surprising. Well, our priority must then be to kill Verle. Actually, no. Let's... Try and kill this army before it can get overly thick. Damn it, I fucked this up. Stop. I'll go there, whatever. Be in the same place so you can f no stop wait are they not in the same province i guess they're not okay now they are now their armies are uniting ah no bad 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 okay we'll kill that that's good yeah we need to pull chair despite the unfavorable numbers we're gonna win definitely but i mean if maybe if Vedele is too much of a bitch to join no he's gonna join Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, we actually completely wrecked them there. Nice. I guess maybe they have shit tech or something. Hard to say. Oh, stop running away. I need to stack wipe the Vedler so I can go up north and convince him to peace out. I die, 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 die. 
Right, now we're gonna just go sit on his capital, and that should be enough to make him ditch. All right, that actually went extremely well. That was way better fought than the last time, which was totally planned and not just luck. No, sir. Pure skill here on the Green Force channel. Could recruit more mercenaries, of course, if it becomes necessary. Ah, just a bunch of garbage. Brandenburg. But Brandenburg died a, a while ago. So then there's this tiny city here and his little puppet. And then Verile. But hopefully Verile will ditch soon. Yeah. The very threat of sieging his capital is enough to make him ditch. So now we just need to ramp up these armies, get our sieging on. I think they... something in the soul of Brandenburg died this game. It doesn't even look like they're capable of getting units anymore. Fucking Mansfeld is capable of getting units, that's for sure. If they could just gather up some of these units, then they would be able to actually pose a real nice threat to me. Fuck, I thought the game crashed there for a second, but no. It was simply the gods being in awe of my glory. Now we're gonna go into some decent dead in this, but that's fine. It's hopefully not gonna be nearly as bad as last time. I don't know why my armies are so much better. Once again, it, there's a lot of detail, you know. There's, there's enemy commanders, and there's like there's always there's always a billion reasons why there would be differences. I have to recruit another mercenary though if I want to get these sieges happening at the same time. Ooh, new consort. But that pisses off the nobles, and I am the bitch of the nobles, so no. We did piss them off a bit here though by asking a lot of troops, or asking to get a lot of troops from them, so. Let's see, can we have another general by the way? No, we cannot. Damn it. Well. Gotta give it to the uh, city of Mansfeld, though. Holy shit, they've been recruiting a lot of units. Come on, Thuringia. You can get yourself another unit, can't you? You were ruler of the Swamplands. That will be good. But the Swamplands have been taken over by Thick Burgundy. And Burgundy looks like he's going to become emperor. I actually, no, he's going to lose the election as it stands right now, but... Wait, who insulted me? Yeah, that was not Bohemia, right? Okay, now. I finally got that Bohemian alliance. I am not gonna have them bit cuck me now. Okay, just just leave a token force here. And let's all go siege the city of the cock. Literally. There's a cock here. Brandenburg in swamp lands. There are swamps in Brandenburg. Since it's just forest there. Still, that is a lot less. Or that that is pretty rubbish territory. Uh, you know, you wouldn't think the capital of Germany would emerge in such a place. Then again, I guess a bunch of forests would motivate the Germans to chop it down, and that in itself could be the motivator for glory for them.
But there is going to be an event in this that uh, makes the... I mean, there, there is the uh, Dutch Revolt event. And that event in this mod is fucking brutal, so... There is definitely... Oh, hello, Brunschweig. Oh, shit, he actually annexed his... Uh, his PU. Well, that sucks, because... Well, uh, that could actually be a good thing, because... Him alone might actually be weaker. But yeah, it's gonna be. Oh, look at this! And the Eng or the uh, the French are actually kicking the English out of the continent. Uh, that is both good and bad. I do want a weak England, but I also don't. I want them to be weak when I am invading England. If that makes sense. that did we get it ah not too much we can keep this going then uh bamberg judgment day is upon us the minions of lucifer walk upon the earth oh no it's merely the mason air <laughs> fair enough i'll show you hell on earth mates i'll show you hell on earth Yeah, points to all the warmongers in the chat. This war was brilliant. Court level has fallen, yeah. I did decide where we're going to have that fall, because it was costing too much. And we didn't get an extra alliance slot, so why bother? Why bother? I mean, after this, once we get our revenge on the mines, uh, shitballs, people, we are actually... Yeah, I think... Ah, uh, no, we... Hmm. Do we actually need to conquer that province from uh, Bohemia in order to form uh, Saxony? This is Pleissen. I don't think Plyson is actually a part of the mission. So I think we can form Saxony without it. I don't know if the Saxons have any good ideas or anything, but... Hopefully becoming Saxony will give us an excuse to start... You know, we can start disinheriting heirs and shit like that. That'll be good. That would please me like few other things could.
complaining about war exhaustion? Are you vassalizing? What do you mean? Ah oh, crap, I actually need to pay a bit more for my army because I need some reinforcements. Hey, treaty with Magdeburg is ended. We are annexing our shitty vassal, if that's what you're wondering. Finally, after all this time. Uh, no, we're not. We are annexing. I don't think uh, vassal. I don't think vassals count. I think it, they need all to be integrated uh, in order for the mission to work. I mean, I guess it could vassalize. Brandenburg, but I would honestly much rather just have his territory directly. Vassals aren't very good in this game. So yeah, we're just securing it all. We're just one is yeah. Brandenburg is so dead at this point that he is literally incapable of building any more armies. So we were able to just sit with low um, low uh, upkeep for our army. So we should be able to piece up with these shit boys at this point. Okay, that's actually really expensive. What the fuck? Okay, damn. What the hell? Okay, so that would be too much. And that's because it's... No, that's not even his capital anymore. Well, damn, if I wanted aggressive expansion, this is it. This is it. Could give uh, Henneberg to our vassal. Eh, we just took a diplo idea. Put an end to that meme and get some sieges going on this meme lord. Unless he just wants out. Do it in December before the yearly tick. Yeah, we are pretty close, you're true. We could try and wait for that. We'll see what happens. In, uh, or we'll see what the situation is once the war is done. Should be able to split up here, actually. Rest in peace, manpower, by the way. And poor state troops. Where did the army of my vassal go anyways? They have another color. Uh, I would if I if it wasn't too much aggressive expansion, but it sadly is. So for the time being, we must stay calm. We can actually pay debt right now, so why don't we do that?
Okay, so this would give us a decent... I mean, we could wait an entire year, but... Fuck, I'm gonna go back into debt immediately. Ah, I should have taken the risk there. I'm too stable to hang afford that. I mean, these are literally the territories we have claims on, so... You'd think taking those would be viable. 